turbocharged backpack. Johnny Jess. The genius sisters use them like a lab rat. Johnny Jess. A neat free dad at home, a super busy mom. Johnny Jess. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. Talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. to do with us? Cause Johnny's gonna ask Gil next door to sleep over and he'll say, Sure, Johnny bra. And we slip in for our new secret door panel system. <laughs> and kiss him like Princess Charming's kissing Sleeping Beauty, dude. Johnny, pick up your things! I want an automatic stuff picker upper that I can ride, that has cup holders, and it'll pick up all my stuff. Get it to Gil's and we'll get to work. Hey, Johnny, what can I do? You want to sleep over at my house tonight? I've got arcade games and a robot band. Oh, sorry, Johnny, bro, but I'm not really into that stuff. Well, what are you into? Uh, onions. I like onions. Great, I got onions, too. Then I'll be there at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> oh, I see. So you'll ask Gil for a sleepover, but not moi. What's with the blue hair? It's my new wild look. You like? It's horrible. Now, if I sleep over, I could sneak a kiss to my sleeping Susan, and I'll be her Prince Charming, and she'll awake and dig my new red hair. Forget it. And besides... Dear all you Jane's friends, he's not allowed on any sleepovers. Aha! Uh -huh. But I will be at home because... <laughs> Bling 2 stays at home, and Mom thinks I'm at home, but I'm partying with you. Really? Perhaps cash will change your mind. The sleepover starts at 8, and bring two bags of onions. See you there, Johnny! You're not sleeping over, I am! I said I'm sleeping over! A sleepover? That sounds like earthly fun, Johnny. Uh, on Earth, though, girls don't have sleepovers at boys' houses. It's complicated. Fine. Then I'll ask your sisters. Trying to put the moves on my little girl, eh, Johnny Test? No. And what are moves? I have my eye on you. Both eyes. Sure, Jillian. You can sleep over. But stay away from Gil next door. He's ours. Hey, the new passage system rocks. And so do sleepovers. I'll see you at 8, Johnny. So, Johnny, what do you think? No, no, I want it colorful. With tubes and stuff and, ooh, an escape hatch. We're not made of money, you know. Whoa. Keep the change. Johnny, I have worked two hours picking up your stuff, and I want this house kept spick and span. And I want it quiet all night long. Gil, what are you doing here? Having a sleepover with Johnny. It's gonna rock, yeah. Who said you could have a sleepover? Hey, word up, Mr. T. Here's your onions, Jonathan. Now let's part hey. Hi, I'm sleeping over. A girl? She's staying with us. No sleepover! Oh, please, please Daddy, please. we love you. And remember, our college is free. No, okay. But only because you said free college. But if there is one thing in this house, drop, broken, or destroyed, I am holding you accountable, Johnny! How is that fair? It's not. Now, I'm going upstairs, and I want no trouble, no mess, and boys and girls separated all night! Okay, 
So, I'll get Gil to sleep ASAP so you can smooch him. And we'll complete the House Picker Upper 9000. That is a horrible name. We'll work on it. Split up! <laughs> oh, great onions, Johnny Bra. All right, when do I get to smooch the sleeping Susan? Hey, let's put on some soothing music and hit the old sack, huh? But I didn't finish my onions, yo. And I'm... <laughs> it worked! No mess and no trouble. <laughs> and I spoke too soon, didn't I? I will not stay in your house, Bling One, because it is I, Bling Two, that wants to have sleepover fun. Where have I seen this before? Well, Bling it on! <laughs> Grilled onions. Awesome! Johnny, what is going on? Oh, just playing video games and rocking out. Sorry, and ooh, check out these noise-reducing headphones. I don't want headphones and, hmm. These are awesome! And even though I can't hear anything, I don't want to see one mess! No! We've got to stop them! So, on sleepovers, I just sit here and watch you guys build that. And stay away from guilt! The boys sound like they are having fun. Let's check it out! No, 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 we have to stay separated and... <gasps> Johnny's sleepover looks way more fun than yours. Ah. Girl with the wild green hair. I love you! I told you to stay away from Gil! Girl with the glasses and sour demeanor! I love you! I told you to stay away from Susan because I'm gonna get Susan! And I'm gonna get you, Jillian! And I better get you out of here! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think we're safe. This isn't what it looks like. I said stay away from my Jillian! Stop! You're making a mess! I was trying to hit you. Eugene, why aren't you at home? Uh, uh, Mom, what are you doing here? I'm a big boy now, and ow, 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 you're coming home with me, and ah! Hi, hot green hair girl. Would you like to... Ah! I lost my glasses! I can't see a thing! This is so not good and <laughs> run. I'm not done with you, Bling One. I'm not sure the house is spotless like you promised your dad. You think? <laughs> Now to brush my teeth, and then it's downstairs for some warm milk. Sleepovers are exciting. You have to go. Gil wants you, and Susan wants to destroy you, and I need a clean house. I'm staying. I'm having fun. We'll flip a coin. I don't have a coin. Fine, well, spin this beaker. If it lands on you, you stay. If it lands on me, you go. Johnny Test? Again, this is not what it looks like. And I need my cleaner upper thingy! That is a horrible name. You should have listened to your father, cause look at this scene. Everything's messy and nothing is clean. So when did the girls create the talking fish? <laughs> My lipstick smudged on you. A lot. I have you now, Johnny Test. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. <laughs> Please tell me the Save My Butt Machine is done. It's called the 12 Handed Picker Upper Flupper Whopper. I don't care what it's called, I just need it now. Okay, this time I'm pulling in the heat. <laughs> pulling in the heat. Johnny Test, I will destroy you and... 
I'm telling you, I've seen this somewhere before. I'm clean, I'm fresh, I'm smooth as silk. Now to the kitchen for meatloaf and milk. Now let's try sleep mode. Sorry, Dad. We thought we'd have a big, non-messy camp out downstairs. Well, you've been perfect all night, son, and I'm proud of you, and you enjoy your sleepover. I'll see you all in the morning. Is he gone? Yep. Great. Then finally, we get to kiss. Yeah. Next door. <laughs> oh, well. I guess they'll kiss him on the next sleepover. But there can be no more sleepovers here and for you, because schlopper whopper number number flopper number two. Maybe I saw this in a book. I'm off to school and... <laughs> What's this? <laughs> That is the mother of all warts. Maybe even the father. What? How did I get a wart? Think back. Did you do anything unusual that would have caused the wart? Hmm. Look, I can juggle toes and touch my eyes. The day test kisses a warthog is the day I put on a dress. <laughs> Darn it. Here you go. Thanks for the free lollipop, kindly old warty old hag. <laughs> nope, nothing's ringing a bell. Well, you can't go to school with that thing growing out of your hand. To the lab! I suppose we could remove the wart with our prismatic laser. <laughs> right! The laser. Okay, you're both talking funny, but get rid of this thing! Now, whatever you do, don't move. You know this war thing is on my hand, right? Oops. <laughs> Our bad. <laughs> Did it work? Unfortunately, no. Looks like the prismatic generator broke. And we're gonna need a few hours to fix it. The wart looks even bigger now. And it looks like I've gotta live with it today. So come on, warty, we're off to school. Did he just name his wart? Warty. Thorn this lock! I forgot the combo again. Psst. Johnny, down here. Hey! Ah, talking wart! Not just a talking wart, you're talking wart. Now, turn left to 22, right to 13, then bring it home to 33. Thanks, Warty. You are totally freaky, but helpful. Now, let's hustle the math class. We don't want to be late. Wow, it's like you're reading my mind. Oh, you have no idea. Johnny, would you like to show the class how x equals 17 times y minus 14 pi plus e equals cows? Uh, no. Well, do it anyway! Psst, Johnny, scratch your head. Now, look at the problem and repeat after me. Well, there's no mathematical way that x could have an exponential expression of 17. Do you think you copied it wrong out of the teacher's textbook? Because the real answer isn't a tangible or cows, but the expression known as pi. He's... he's right! <laughs> Another thing you need to work on is using people's names when you address them. It shows you care. Hey! You knocked my stuff on the floor! Any last words, test? Well, you think you're tough, don't you, Bumper? Well, all I see is a sad little boy trapped in the body of a hulking lummox. Who said that? It wasn't me, I swear. It was my wart. Yeah, that's right. I'm Johnny's wart. And sure, you're big and strong, but I know you're weak. <laughs> Why do you bully Bumper? Is it because your dad wants you to become a bone-crushing wrestler? Oh, or is it something else? Like deep down, you really want to open your own flower shop because you're nothing but a sensitive nectar-sniffing nerd trapped in a bully's body. <laughs> it's true. 
I want to be good and love flowers, but bullying is all I know. <gasps> Did you see that? Johnny Test took Bumper down and he didn't even lift a finger. Johnny Test broke Bumper's finger and didn't even touch him. Johnny's broke and Bumper beat his pants and loves unicorns. <laughs> So are you the kid with the cool talking wart? You know it. How can the Johnny be of assistance? We're like having a really cool party and we wanted to invite the wart. Hmm. Uh, but, but, no, sorry. We come as a set. Fine. A flamehead can come too, but he better be cool. Wow. Having a wart on my hand is the best thing that ever happened to me. Me too, Johnny. Me too. <laughs> Uh, that laugh was a little creepy. And completely inappropriate. Hey, can you forgive me, Johnny? Oh, I could never be mad at you, Warty. <laughs> I was not watching that. And how was school with Wartzilla? You mean Warty, the coolest Wart ever? Because he can talk, and now cheerleaders invite me to parties. Big deal. I'm a talking dog, or didn't you notice? And did you just say cheerleaders like you? Yeah, and it's thanks to a talking wart, not a talking dog. Yeah, that's freaky! Ew, the creepy eyes are new, but... These will make Warty look cool. And for your information, dog, I'm a wart. And I'm taking Johnny on the journey of a lifetime. He's the perfect host. Or, uh, I mean, buddy, yeah, buddy! Now, if you'll excuse us, we have to pick out some fly clothes for the pate. Oh, you weren't invited, were you? <laughs> You mean you planned this talking tumor? It was more of a theory we were working on. Great, amazing, really good. Now neutralize it before it goes crazy or something. Are you nuts? Can't you see he's more than just an incredibly ugly heap of skin? Hey, you're no supermodel. He's my buddy. Since Warty came along, my life's been awesome. I ace math, crush bumper, and I party with the cheerleaders. Hey! Hey, that wart just stuck his tongue out at me. Dude, you seem a little jealous. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Me? Jealous of a wart? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? Fine. Don't get rid of the wart. See if I care. <laughs> and let's see what happens tomorrow when I have another great day with the greatest wart in the world. <laughs> Sleep tight, Johnny boy. Because when you wake up in the morning, you're going to feel like a brand new person. <laughs> Not much of a brain to work with, but it'll do. Because it'll soon be mine. Like all of Johnny will be mine. Then I will begin my conquest to make the world mine. Oops. Did I just say that out loud? Yeah, and I heard all of it, you diabolical little blemish! Rad, I forgot the dog can talk. And if the girls won't remove you, I will. Never! Johnny, wake up! That ward's trying to take over your body! You're too late, Dookie. Ah! We'll see about that! Wake up! The ward has attached itself to Johnny's brain and it's going to take over his body! <laughs> That's right, and... How do you make the arms move? Okay, I guess this can't wait until morning. We've got to get rid of him before he takes over Johnny's cerebral cortex! But you can't get rid of me! I'm Johnny now! Do something! If we remove the ward now, it would be like giving Johnny a lobotomy! Is that an option? No! And I've got full control of Johnny now! <laughs> now let's see how you like being removed! I win, dog! Now I'll make more warts. Not as handsome as me, mind you, but just as powerful! And we'll spread like... Uh, warts! 
and we'll take over more bodies, and soon I'll rule the new war world! A world led by a dirty, scheming parasite living in the body of my best friend? Cause that's all you'll ever be! If you're trying to psych me out, it will never work. And you'll never be a whole person! You'll never be anything without Johnny, because you can't survive without him! You're wrong! I'm an amazing wart! I can talk! No, you're nothing without Johnny. Oh, I'm nothing without Johnny. Now, he's nothing without me, and I'll prove it! <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah-ha! <laughs> Talking dog wins! I can't believe I fell for that. Uh, I feel really weird. Johnny, how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Ow! Wrong. Dogs don't have fingers. He tried to take over my brain. How come you never listen to me? So what are you going to do with me? Hey, Johnny, come on. You got to admit we made a pretty good team. I gave you math answers. I destroyed Bumper. Hmm. Cheerleaders. Hmm. Oh, darn luck again. 22 right, 13 left, and 33. Thanks, Wardy. You're late for science. Here's today's schedule, and you got that multiple choice test in math. Remember, if you're not sure, always go with your first answer. Got it. Don't forget your clean socks for gym class. And straighten up, young man. Come on, you slump it. Too aggressive, right? Uh, sorry, Johnny. I'll work on it. 